Thank you, Madam Chair. As this committee has investigated transportation incidents from the derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, to the depressurization incident on Alaska Airlines Flight 1282, a common refrain from parties to NTSB investigations is that they need advance approval from the NTSB prior to providing documents and information to members of Congress. Madam Chair, is that true? That is not true. As you know, this committee has significant oversight, authority, and responsibility. Does the NTSB's confidentiality agreement with parties to NTSB investigations restrict access by members of Congress to documents and information in any way? Absolutely not, and parties should not use the NTSB as a shield. Thank you for clarifying. I, I agree, but that, that is important to have that on the record, so I appreciate it. Absolutely. You have a right to that information and should get that information. Thank you. Uh, turning specifically to Alaska Airlines Flight 1282, uh, I am deeply concerned about potential safety issues with the Boeing 737 MAX 9. It is essential that the NTSB's investigation get to the bottom of this and, and identify any safety issues and potential solutions. To that end, it is equally important that the parties to the investigation cooperate fully with the NTSB, with Congress and others investigating the incident. Madam Chair, how cooperative have the parties to the investigation been with the NTSB and have you gotten timely access to the documents, the information and the witnesses you need? The, there are a number of parties to the investigation. Some parties have been very cooperative. For example, the Federal Aviation Administration uh, Boeing has not provided us with the documents and information that we have requested numerous times over the past few months, specifically with respect to opening, closing, and removal of the door and the team that does that work at the Renton facility. Wow. Uh, are you telling us that, that even two months later, you still do not, do not know who actually opened the door plug? That's correct, Senator. We don't know, and, and it's not for lack of trying. Uh, it's not unusual that we don't get information in, immediately in an investigation. I can point to uh, numerous investigations where this occurs, and it takes months and months to get information. Uh, but for this one, it's two months later. We know for a fact that there is a team that deals with the doors in Renton. There's an entire team of 25 people and a manager. We, the manager has been out on medical leave. We've not been able to interview that individual. We've asked for the names of the other 25 people, have not received the names. We've asked for the records with respect to what occurred. We've asked for what shift it occurred on. We think we know what days the work occurred on, but that's only because of our investigators work looking at pictures and emails to try to get to the bottom of that information. We don't have the records. We don't have the names of the 25 people that is in charge of doing that work in that facility. It's absurd that two months later, we don't have that. Our investigators right now are at the Renton facility and they are conducting interviews uh, from, uh, it started, those started on Sunday and they will continue for the rest of the week. Uh, you know, one example, uh, while we were out there, uh, we investigated both the Spirit, uh, Spirit Aerospace employees that the, did the work on the rivets, while we don't know who did the work on the door plug. Uh, for the Spirit Aerospace employees, we were just informed last week, they're actually not Spirit Aerospace employees, they're contractors. They work for three different contracting firms, Aerotech, Strom Aviation, and Launch, all three of our, in the state of Washington. All three people work for three different entities for Spirit Aerospace. Those were not told to us by Spirit Aerospace. That information was told to us uh, through the individuals who were being interviewed that contacted us directly. So I have engaged, our, we have engaged our attorney on this matter, uh, just so you're aware. Well, I will say that is utterly unacceptable and the parties who are being investigated by NTSB need to cooperate fully, uh, and Congress expects them to cooperate fully because you have an obligation to the American public to get to the bottom of what happened. Uh, today is March 6th. Uh, I'm gonna ask you to inform this committee in writing uh, one week from today uh, whether or not Boeing has cooperated 
and I expect you to have that list of 25 names. And so I'm going to ask you a week from today to inform this committee in writing whether they provided those 25 names or not, because this investigation needs to get to the bottom of what occurred, what occurred and what caused that accident. Thank you. I will, uh, I will provide that to the committee in writing. The 25 names, uh, it's not just the 25 names. We'd also like to get, and we've repeatedly requested from Boeing, the documentation that went along with the work uh, of opening the door plug, closing the door plug, or any sort of removal, if that exists. So please include that information as well when, when you respond in writing a week, week from today to let us know the level of cooperation you're seeing. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair.